Shalom. I want to give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh by Hashem, copy God, and of honors to the elders, the apostles, great wisdom, teaching of this truth of thirty, citation to the hopeful of that that spirit at the four corners of the year. All right, I'm back with another word of today. Um, for the eight, the word of today is renew. Right, so. Renewal, um, the part of or renew goes back to the word change. Um, you know, it's important to, you know, renew your mind every single day. It's important to renew, you know, your, your, when you're renewing your mind, you're renewing your spirit, you know, you're cleansing your spirit, you're purifying your spirit, right? A wickedness, right? Um, you know, so it's really important to, you know, you renew, you renew, your um, you know, you're renewing your mind, and especially when you're in the church, you know, you can't be, you know, still doing the the, the old old things you used to do when you were in the world. Like, you know, you, you can't you can't still be doing that when you're in the church, right? You have to, you know, pray, repent, you know, and ask, you know, that you, you know that you are not, uh, and ask of the as Yahweh Shah, as Yahweh in the name of Yahweh Shah, you know, that, you know, you are, you, you, you know, he gives you the spirit of, you know, the Holy Spirit, you know. And, um, so I got here Romans chapter 12, verse 2, and reads, Be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is good, what is that good? But is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the Messiah? So the word renewing goes back to the word to be changed, right? To be changed. Renovation, complete change for the better, right? Complete change for the better. You know, and we are in the truth, you know, you're changing your life, you know, for you can get salvation. Um, you know, so that's a complete change for the better. You know, you live, you you living. You know, you you're trying to live righteousness to the best of your ability. Right. So I'm gonna I'm trying to find a piece of garden, you know, trying to find a piece of that goes into um who our brother paraphrasing where it where it says, um, put off your old no, put off your old ways but Actually, I'm going in here. Yeah, Ephesians 4 and 22. It's like, yeah. But I want to get into that word, what that word we do. Well, that word renew goes back to Ephesians 4, chapter 22, reads that ye put off concerning the former conversation the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust. Right? So the old conversation, right? So that word, it goes back to manner of life, conduct, behavior. So the old, you know, the old manner of life, the old, the former manner of life, the form, former manner of life, you know, um, you know, which is corrupt according to the deceitful love school. When we was in this world, you know, we were, you know, we were in a, we were in a corrupt mind state. We were in a deceitful mind state. We were in a lustful mind state, right? But when we receive, you know, the Holy Spirit that guides us, you know, we had to put off that old manner of life. You know, we had to, 
you know, renew our right spirit within us. We had to, we had to be changed. And here you go again, turn the verse and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Right? Be renewed in the spirit of your mind. To renew mind, right? To be renewed in the spirit of your mind. 24 verse, in that ye put on the new man, which after the most high is created in righteousness and true holiness. All right, so, you know, we have to um, put, we have to, you know, when you're in the truth, you know, you have to, you know, you have to, you have to, um, because again, we're not perfect, so we, there's something we're going, we want to go, go off, but it just, you know, what you do, you know, if you, know you have went off, you know you committed something less, you know you, you did something that was, you know, a sin, you know, you know had you had to ask of the Mosah, you know, a righteous man follow 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 seven times but he get back right back up, right? So, you know, there's no excuses um, why you shouldn't be, you know why you shouldn't be putting off your former um self, you know. All right, so I'm gonna go into that Hebrew Hebrew word, right? So the Hebrew word is for new well, or renewal. So the closest Hebrew word, you know, for the word renewal is new, which means kadash. But the closest Hebrew word for renewal, which goes back to the Hebrew word change, which is not because that's known as the Hebrew word for renewal, renew, renewal. So. The Hebrew word you got here is kadash, which didn't mean like new mind, which means kadash. Then you have the word change, which means nah, right? So that renewal goes back to the word change, right? I just read in Romans, um, Romans the 12, ch chapter verse 2, that it means to be changed or, um, right? Goes back to the word to be changed. Let me get it again. I can get into let's see, change here etymology change to change one mind, right? To renew one's mind. He got an etymology of the word change direction not to change one's mind, right? So you're renewing your mind, right? Just read in Ephesians, or well, that Ephesians chapter 20, 23, 20, 24. That the word renew me to change one mind. Right. Ephesians. Renewed. So the re renew goes back to the word renewal, right? Which means to renew in one in the mind, right? So that word change means to change one mind, right? So it's, it's, it's the same definition. Okay. All right. Um, I can get, let me see if I can get that word renew here. Renew, right? Make something like new, right? Reverber, refurbish, um, you know, renewal, um, you know, the, it's the same thing. So, I got here Psalms chapter 51, verse 10. It reads, create me, create in me a clean heart of the Mosai. Which goes back to where the how of the Mosai and renew a right spirit within me, right? So that where renew goes out to where which dodge. So which means to be to be new, renew, repair, you know, repair. Um, restore, you know. So I'm gonna keep reading. A right spirit within me, right? 11, 11 verse. Cast me not away from thy presence, 
and take not thy thy Holy, Holy Spirit away from me. So this is something we need to be praying to the Most High every single day, right? Because we sin every single day, so we need to be praying to the Most High that He doesn't, you know, take not take the Holy Spirit away from us, right? You know, we need to pray that um, that we are renewing our mind, we are renewing our heart, you know. Every single day, right? Create, what you mean? Create, create, create. Ten verse, create in me a clean heart, which means, you know, purge the wickedness. You know, purge wickedness, and you know, put on the, you know, armor or like of you know, uh, purification, right? Purify your, purify your heart. Oh, the Most High, and renew a right spirit within me, a righteous spirit. You know, a right mind. You know, a just mind, right? Within yourself. All right. So you know this. I'm not gonna make this too long. All right, you know, the word of today is renew. You know, you have to renew your mind every every single day. You know, you have to you know change your ways every single day. You know, you have to put out your old manner of of living, your old manner of life. You know, you have to put on a new, a new. You have to put a new man within. You, all right, and how do we do that? We do that by repenting. Uh, you know, by praying and by fasting as well. You know. By fasting, you know, fasting is important. You know, speaking to myself, um, for some, for, from us, you know, fasting. You know, when you fast, right, you are really cleans, cleansing wickedness from yourself. You know, you are really cleansing like wickedness from yourself, right? And it's, a, it's, a, it's a spiritual, it's a spiritual thing. It's a you know, it's fasting. A very, it's a very spiritual, 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 especially when you're praying as well. So, you know. It's important, it's important, it's important to fast. All right, so I'm going to give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh, Shabbat Shem, Kadash. Till next time, I'll say Shalom.